Remember when airplanes were these amazing things, you'd look up and marvel at them soaring through the sky. Now planes are as common as pigeons, except they cost more to clean up after. But how do these metal birds actually stay up there? That's where jet engines come in. These feats of engineering are the heart of modern aviation. They're why we can cross continents in hours. So what's the magic behind these metal marvels? It's all about sucking in air and spitting it out the back. And trust me, that was fast. But there's a bit more to it than that. We're talking about controlled explosions happening thousands of times a minute. It's enough to make your hair stand on end. Now buckle up, because I'm about to take you on a high-speed journey through the guts of a jet engine. We'll see how they work from the front to the back. You might even learn something. First things first, a jet engine needs something to work with. And that something is air. Lots of it. Think of the engine as a giant, very hungry mechanical mouth. The intake is like the mouth, gulping down massive amounts of air as the plane hurtles forward. It's not as simple as just having a big hole in the front, though. The intake is carefully shaped, kind of like a funnel, to smooth out the airflow and make sure the engine gets a nice, even supply of air. This is important because choppy airflow can cause all sorts of problems. Imagine trying to eat soup with a fork, messy and inefficient. So the intake does the first important job of getting the air party started. It's the first stage in the engine's incredible journey of turning thin air into enough thrust to get a jumbo jet off the ground. And when I say jumbo, I mean jumbo. Now that the engine has its mouthful of air, it's time to give it a good squeeze. That's where the compressor comes in. This bit is essentially a series of spinning blades, like a high-tech windmill, that squeeze the air and increase its pressure. Imagine squeezing a balloon. The air inside gets smaller and more tightly packed, right? That's what the compressor does. It takes that big gulp of air and squishes it down, making it hotter and denser in the process. Why all the squeezing, you ask? Well, the more compressed the air is, the bigger the bang you get when you add fuel. And as we all know, bigger bangs mean more power. The compressor is a vital part of the jet engine's operation and it has to be incredibly strong to withstand those immense forces. It's like the engine's heart, pumping and squeezing to keep everything moving. Section 4. Burn, baby, burn the combustion chamber. Now we're getting to the good part, the bit where things get explosively exciting. The compressed air is forced into the combustion chamber, which is like the engine's stomach. But instead of digesting food, this chamber digests fuel. Fuel is injected into the combustion chamber and mixed with the hot, compressed air. This creates a highly flammable mixture just waiting for a spark to set it off. And boy, does it get set off. The mixture ignites, creating a continuous, controlled explosion. This isn't some haphazard bonfire, though. The combustion process is carefully managed to ensure a steady stream of superheated, expanding gas. This fiery inferno is where the real power of a jet engine is unleashed, and it's the key to propelling those massive hunks of metal through the sky. Section 5. Spin to win the turbine. Remember those spinning blades in the compressor? Well, get ready for round two, because the hot expanding gases from the combustion chamber now rush past another set of blades called the turbine. This is where the real magic happens. As the high-speed gases blast through the turbine, they force it to spin, just like wind spins a windmill. But this isn't your grandma's garden variety windmill. This turbine is connected to the compressor at the front of the engine by a long shaft. So as the turbine spins, it also spins the compressor, drawing in more air and keeping the whole cycle going. It's a beautifully self-sustaining system, like a mechanical version of a perpetual motion machine, almost. The turbine is a crucial link in the chain, transferring energy from the expanding gases to the compressor and keeping the engine humming along. It's like the engine's nervous system, transmitting power and keeping everything in sync. Section 6. Out the back, the nozzle. We've reached the final stage of our jet engine journey. After spinning the turbine, those hot gases still have energy left. They're channeled through a narrowing exhaust nozzle. This nozzle directs and squeezes the exhaust gases, creating a high-velocity jet that propels the plane forward. 
Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The exhaust force pushes the plane forward. Simple, right? And that, my friends, is how a jet engine works.